Hey what's up guys it's Tosh here and today I'm making a video about hunting for legendaries but there's kind of a little twist to it. Um, as you guys know hunting for legendaries could take like hours and hours depending on if you're looking for a shiny one or even an aura or whatever. It still could take a really long time especially if you have no game pass or any boosters and today i'm gonna show you guys how to find legendaries without moving so you can multitask so the first area i'm heading to is lavender town where you can find garatina um note you can find garatina only if you're a champion now once you get inside this building all you have to do is just slowly walk up to ladders and just make yourself look like this. See, I won't have to move and then I'll be able to encounter stuff. It's taken a little while. There we go. But we could just like sit here for hours and just not move and just have to click run. That's it. Alright, now I'm at the next spot. We all know that the legendary that can be found here is Palkia, besides all the roaming legendaries. And Palkia could be found up here. And this one is a little harder to get right basically easier way is just get a running start and just stop as soon as you like reach this point you gotta try to get your foot like uh i don't think this is right yeah Yeah, we're going to have to try to put our foot all the way at the bottom of the floor. That's what we want to try to aim for. Or maybe this might do. Maybe this might work. I'll fast forward. Yep, alright. This is fine. So, basically just get a running start and just run towards this and... You know, keep your foot like right there around and you won't have to move at all and you can just farm for our Palkia. Or if you want, you can just climb up this thing. And then... Oh, oh there it is. This Easter egg. Well, I don't think this is an Easter egg, but... Now we're at the Elite Four, and we're going to go towards Victory Road, where we can find Yoga. This one's quite simpler. All you have to do is just walk up to these truss, and just like keep your foot like that. And then you'll be able to find Pokemon just like this. If I encounter something, maybe. Two hours later. All right. Apparently, this this wants to work, but the other ones don't. All I did was, I went first person. I just wedged myself right here. Then it just decides to work. I don't know. It'll probably work for you guys. Maybe I was just like unlucky. Also, there's like a mini Easter egg in here. Yeah, that's some nice, uh, can't read that. Alright, nice. Going to the next spot. Alright, so we're in, uh, Seafoam Cave now, where Kiram is. 
Um, just a reminder, all all the legendaries so far have been champion only. Yeah, there, there would have been no way I found a cure on that fast. I figured it was a swarm. And you just gotta run, and you just gotta, like, stop. gotta like take a sprint and then stop and then you'll end up like something like this and you won't have to move all right well we're going to the next spot I know this isn't like really any legendary spot but if you want to hunt for something in here like some kind of Pokemon or if there's like a swarm or maybe if uh, the hunch spot is here you can just come right here just walk slowly up to this thing and it should work out for you pretty come on come on today junior today junior I think it worked But basically, yeah, that's all you would have to do. Just reposition yourself if it isn't working for a while. But it would work. Oh my goodness. Or you could come over here. And just... Come on, let me... S and just like... Try to do it like this. What do I find? Shiny Darkrai. You know what I have to say to uh, Shiny Dark Rise? This is what I have to say. Alright, now we're at the next spot. This is uh, Mazalium of Origins. I think I said that right. Um, where Zekrom and Rushroom can be found. Uh, if you guys are salty about that shiny dark cry I killed, just uh, you know, just try to be happy. You know, you know what makes me happy. You just gotta make Michael Jackson noises, and it would just like really, really make you happy, cause it makes me happy. So it'd probably make you happy too. Now for this one, the easiest spot, uh, where is it? Alright, here. This is like, one of the hardest, uh, what do you call these things? I guess AFK spots you can try to get in because the grass is like all the way over here and it just doesn't really work out too well and you just gotta... I only ever did this once, and then someone pushed me, and I got really salty. I spent, like, hours trying to do it. Oh, I think I just messed myself up. I don't even think my foot's touching the ground. But you guys can try this one, and I won't guarantee you you'll get it, but it's extremely hard. I'll let you know that now. Um, I'm just not going to do it, just for time's sake. Alright, but that's basically it for, like, all the locations I would know. There's other locations, too. You guys would probably just have to look around. But I'll just let you guys know now. The... How do I explain this? The more slanted, I guess, the slope is, the easier it is to... Uh, AFK, but if it's like, if it's like less slanted and it's almost straight, then it's nearly impossible. So I'll just let you guys know that. And also, before I end the video, I will record this portion with my phone.
All right, please note that whatever happens, I am not responsible for. Please try this at your own risk. What you want to do is you grab like a random card, not your mom's credit card. Please don't do that. Or your dad. Or uncle, aunt, whatever. Don't use anyone's credit card. Just use like some other card. Push down the queue with the card and just slip it in until you, you hear that. And that's what I like to do and leave it on cue so that way I don't have to hold down cue. But that's what I wanted to show you guys.